All right, here's the rest of the turkeys. I'm gonna grab four more, because we have four kill cones, so we'll do that. And uh, yeah, so yesterday I did their final move and I made sure their feed was empty. And they did still have some feed on the ground, so I definitely moved them away from the feed. So now today, while we're cleaning them, the crops are, the craws are empty. Um, yeah, final few. And then I've got my breeders. I picked my breeders, they're up there in the coop. All right, so transporting all the way out in the field to the shop, we made this. Well, we had this garden cart. We got it hooked on to the four-wheeler. <laughs> I put the dog kennel in the back of it. It works really well. All right, turkey day. Got Justin here, the dunker. Got about 150 for about 20 seconds. Um, then we stick him in the plucker. This is all Featherman gear. The Featherman Game Bird. These are decent sized turkeys. So here we have, um, well, these are Wright Farm products, the kill cones. And I made a little stand and then we stood it on top of this water tote that we're not using for water anymore. So I can collect the blood, and I'm going to be collecting the feathers for compost, too. Almost there. Give it a little longer. Let it keep going, definitely. It's Amy. <laughs> Adam, you want to tell us about your shears? Uh, yeah. So, Featherman, you can go pay 600 bucks for a set of shears. We got these on Amazon. Uh, they didn't come under the cobalt name, but you can see they're cobalt. They're just an air pruner. So 35 bucks on Amazon versus $600 for a set. And if you're worried about cleanliness, you could literally just throw this away every time you're done. Um, but the biggest part that was a pain in the butt for me was uh, cutting turkey necks. So I'll show you. Back here, you usually gotta get down. The bones come together and it's really hard to try to get a knife in there and not mess up your breast. So just take this fella right here, shove him down in there. One little whack, just like that. And then out comes the neck. That alone right there is a huge time savings. So well worth the uh, $35. I'm sure Leilani can put a link to the uh, product down in the uh, description. Awesome, awesome. A few little extra feathers. Turkeys are hard to get plucked completely. Nicks and crannies. Yeah. And Justin's gonna wet this bigger turkey down first before he puts it in the, um, what's it called? <laughs> the hot water. Oh, we got already. Clean plastic in here, cold water, ice. These ones were broad breasted, so they're that's huge. I've got heritage in there too, so I've got a wide range of sizes of turkey. All right. Well, here's the 21 turkeys and their necks. Got a big variety of sizes. So this was a uh, a broad-breasted bronze, and this would have been, you know, for size comparison, that's not even the smallest one. 
um, a Narragansett Heritage. Here's a pretty small one. All right, we're about ready to get them packaged. Justin's getting the package packaging process started. We have a straw we put in there. So these are heat shrink bags. So you put them in 180 degree water for about 10 seconds. It pushes all the air out. Let you follow me. push it down in the water because the water's too hot for hands. Pretty good. Not the best drink bags I've ever had, but pretty good. <laughs> 